हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम अमिषा शेगावकर टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट डिफरन्स बिटवीन कंटिन्युअस अँड कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक एक्सरे स्पेक्ट्रा अँड अदर वन इज ऑप्टिकल अँड एक्सरे स्पेक्ट्रा नाव फर्स्ट लेट सी अबाउट कंटिन्युअस अँड कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक एक्सरे स्पेक्ट्रा कंटिन्युअस एक्सरे स्पेक्ट्रा फर्स्ट पॉइंट कंटिन्युअस एक्सरेज आर क्रिएटेड वॅन फ्री मुव्हिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इलेक्ट्रोमॅग्नेटिकली इंटरॅक्ट विथ न्यूक्लियस मीन्स अब फिगर इज कन्सिडर्ड ॲज टार्गेट ऑफ अन ॲटम अँड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन गेट ओव्हर अँड फ्रॉम फिलामेंट अँड कायनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ दॅट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज हाफ एम व्ही स्क्वेअर सो द एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विल टार्गेट ऑन दिस फिलामेंट रेदर दॅन देअर आर टू चान्सेस फर्स्ट वन इज दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन विल कोलाइड टू एनी अदर इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम टार्गेटेड एटम और दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन विल गो स्ट्रेट विदाउट एनी कोलाइडेशन सो हियर वी कैन कन्सिडर दैट दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन विल नॉट कोलाइड टू एनी अदर इलेक्ट्रॉन देन द पाथ ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी लुक स्ट्रेट बट देअर इज पॉझिटिव्ह न्यूक्लियस सो दिस पॉझिटिव्ह चार्ज विल अट्रॅक्टेड ऑन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन अँड ड्यू टू फोर्स ऑफ अट्रॅक्शन the path of an electron gets changed so not going straight the electron gets bent like this so the kinetic energy of that electron gets decreases that is deacceleration occurs and the decrease in energy is emitted as a photon or x-ray photon now first point about characteristic x-ray spectra characteristic x-rays are formed during the electron transition processes that occur when an inertial electron is released from an atom means for understanding characteristic x-ray spectra let us consider one electron emitted from a filament which has that much kinetic energy so that after hitting the target it goes too deep afterwards it will knock out any electron from any targeted atom let us assume that the electron will collide with ele- electron of k shell and knock out k shell's electron to fill, fulfill this vacancy any electron will come from any shell that is lmno and so on let us consider the electron from k shell will fulfill the vacancy of k shell as it is more nearer but the energy level of l shell is more than k shell so the transition occurs is high level energy to low level energy so in this case the x ray photon called as k alpha x ray similarly if from m shell the vacancy gets fulfilled the x ray photon called as k beta x ray then from n shell it is called as k gamma x ray now second point about continuous and characteristic x ray spectra the fast moving electrons during deacceleration radiates energy in the form of x rays the here the fast moving electrons remove an inner electron and energy radiates electron makes a transition from higher state to lower state third point this type of spectrum consists of radiation with delta minimum depending upon the potential applied here this type of spectrum consists depends on the atom through which x rays are emitted fourth point wavelength that is delta is depend on accelerating voltage here wavelength depends on target material wavelength of delta is same for different target materials here value of delta is same for accelerating voltage last point about continuous and characteristic x ray spectra is maximum voltage is 25 kV and here minimum voltage is 30 kV difference between optical and x ray spectra first point of about optical spectra it arises due to the excitation of electron from the outer orbit of the atom here it arises due to excitation of the electron from the inner closed orbit of the sum atom second point optical spectra show 
periodic changes from element to element. Here, X-ray spectra vary smoothly from element to element. Third point, the electron from an outer shell is merely raised to a higher level and not completely removed. Here, X-ray spectra arise as a result of the complete removal of an electron from an inner shell of the atom. Fourth point, the optical emission spectra are identical to the optical absorption spectra. Here, X-ray emission spectra are entirely different from the X-ray absorption spectra. So, optical and X-ray spectra are very easy to understand. I hope you understand all the points from both the difference between. Thank you.